four months ago, we stood on this corner here on the corner of 65th and Broadway in South Los Angeles. This is a corner where Ezel Ford was gunned down by two LAPD officers in August. The Newton Division police officers say they were forced to shoot uh, an armed man who was here in two blocks away from his home in the South LA Florence neighborhood. But witnesses and his family say that fatal force was unwarranted. We said then, four months ago, that the killing of Ezel Ford was problematic, that the killing of Ezel Ford raised many questions about the LAPD and police shootings. This killing came right on the heels of Michael Brown. And we said then, we want two things. We want a transparent, a fast track, and an independent investigation. From day one, my organization and other organizations that were involved in the EZL4 killing, we asked one thing and one thing only, that the report, this was back in August, be released on a timely basis. Why? When you hold a report, even though we understand what the LAPD has said and their reason, still it raises suspicions about a report that in fact this is not going to be fair objective and that there will be no white wars here that there will be no massaging of the facts we were concerned about that we drew no conclusions whatsoever we just wanted the report released on a timely basis now if the report is an objective scientific forensic based report with no opinions if in fact it supports the view of the officers that Ezel Ford was killed as a result of a struggle. There was no wrongdoing on our part. We did not act out of policy. Why wouldn't you release it? That's right. Well, yeah. why wouldn't you? Yes, I would sir. think you would want to release yes, it at sir. that point yes, because then it supports your view. Yes, sir. The fact that you didn't, again, it just raises so many suspicions. That's why tomorrow we're going to be paying very close attention to what this report says yes, or we are there saying it says. Still, if the report, as objective as it may be, shows that there was any wrongdoing on the part of these officers killing this kid, Ezel Ford, there must be punishment. Yes. yes. If the officers overused deadly force because Ezel Ford was unarmed and some witnesses say he was shot in the back, then what we want is we want a prosecution of the officers involved in the killing of Ezel Ford. Ezel Ford cannot be in the killing of Ezel Ford, cannot be separated from Michael Brown. Eric Garner, Tamir Rice, and several others that have happened across the country. It fits into the backdrop of that. It fits into the backdrop of police violence that's unchecked. It fits into the backdrop of lack of accountability of police officers when they overuse deadly force. It fits into the backdrop of a country that's now grappling and still grapples, even in the light of the great tragedy in New York with two officers gunned down, of police that still wantonly kill African-Americans, young African-Americans, in almost all cases unarmed, and in almost all cases raises many questions why these shootings happen. We say and we say repeatedly that Ezel Ford is a litmus test, a teaching moment in Los Angeles for the Los Angeles Police Department to do the right thing the fair and just thing. It's also a litmus test and a teaching moment for police departments around the country that are very sensitive, and they should be, to the issue of how they're viewed in the community, how they treat the community, and when they use deadly force and should not use that. And what checks and accountability is on police officers. So Ezel Ford is important, and it's a case that will be a landmark case.